Hello, my name's Fiona Walsh and today we're going to have a look at why slide size is important when you're presenting to a large audience. I've had a couple of clients recently come to me for help with their slides for their keynote speeches. And the first question I'll ask them is, what slide size do you need? Why is this important? Because each venue will be using different technology and it helps if we know which technology the venue is using before we start designing our slides. So many modern conference facilities these days will be using monitors and those are typically widescreen. Whereas more traditional venues, I'm finding hotels in particular, will be using more traditional methods and that is an overhead projector which is going to be mounted on the ceiling and then shines onto uh, a screen that can be lowered, ready for the presentations. Why is this important? It's important because they are both using different sizes of slide. So the slide we're looking at now is a standard slide. And this slide we have here is widescreen. So how do we know what slide size we're using? If we go to the design tab and then to the slide size drop down menu over to the right, we'll see two options. We have standard and widescreen. The default at the moment is widescreen because most of us are viewing presentations on a monitor at our desk or in a meeting room. That's where the majority of people are using these. But the standard is still being used. <clears throat> and hence we have that option. What I'm finding is quite a few clients coming to me with presentations they've used in the past and they have the standard slide size. And it turns out that they're, when they ask the question, they're actually presenting in a widescreen format. So does this really matter? Well, yes, it does. I'm gonna take us first of all to this slide. So this is our standard slide and I'm going to start this presentation. So we're viewing this on a wide screen. So what you can see here is my slide is in the middle, that's fine, but what I have here is two portions of black space down the side. So that means that I'm losing a good proportion of the slide size that my audience could be viewing. I'm going to come out of that one and go back to the other presentation. And on this one, this is what it would look like if we were presenting a wide screen slide size on an overhead projector. We would then have the black space at the top and the bottom. So why is this important? Well, if we think about it, when we're presenting to a large audience in a, in a big venue, quite a few of our audience are going to be sitting away from the screen. So they could be sitting in the middle of the room or to the back of the room. So what they're looking at is going to appear very, very small because it's in the distance. OK, so really we want to utilise the full size of our slides so that those members of the audience that maybe aren't in the front row can still view the information. So ideally, when we're creating slides for presenting to large audiences, we want big text predominantly pictures the big text on our slides. And if we're losing a third of our slide, or maybe it's a quarter, just think of all the context or the, the text that we're missing by not having that full space available to us on our slides. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, please do connect with me to see other useful tips and tricks with PowerPoint. And if you're watching on my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.